hello. Okay, um, with this house, I picked a tiny lot, and I like this lot because it's kind of like surrounded by ponds and rivers and whatnot. Lots of water. Um, I had no idea about this one. I usually draw them out and, you know, plan them out before I make them. But this one, I just winged it, so let's see how it goes. And if you like it, please do like and subscribe. Like I've said before, I, I had no idea about this one. I, this is going to be a porch. I know that for sure. That was going to be a porch. I eventually changed the, like every thought I had about this house once I started it. Then it just, it, I don't know. I just hope you like it. I like how it's close to the water. The Sims can just like walk out off their porch and just go fishing. I think they can't go ice skating on the water. I like that about The Sims 3. You go ice skating when it got cold and snowy enough. This has absolutely nothing to do with The Sims 3, 4, anything. Um, just please, like, when you're sitting down and you got, like, a quiet minute, just send a silent prayer for Australia. They're having some, some bad, bad times right now, and they just need, you know, all they can get right now. If you can't send money, send a prayer. I don't personally know anyone in Australia. Um, my favorite actor's from Australia. But, just, you know, just think about them. And back to the Sims game. Um, I know I wanted it to be two-story and to have a basement. I wanted the basement to be a small little cellar, like an old-style basement. Not, you know, anything fancy and finished and, you know, got like a second home down there kind of feel to it. One to one I wanted it to be kind of one of those basements where you kind of open the door and you really decided if you wanted to have clean laundry or not because of how dark it is and how just, you know, creepy it is like my old basement. Cuz with my old basement, we had to go under go into the basement, go up onto this ledge, turn on the hot water and the cold water pipes because our washer and dryer were out on a back porch. It was an enclosed back porch, but it did not have any heat. So if we didn't turn it off, it froze. So I had to always make the decision, okay, I've got six baskets of dirty clothes that need washed, or do I just not go in that basement? Because I absolutely hated going in that basement. <laughs> And that was my struggle most of the time, was do I really want to have clean clothes or do I just not want to go in that basement? So I wanted it to be one of those kind of basements where you're like, do I go in here or do I, I, I can wait, I can wear these jeans one more week, you know, that kind of thing. But it turned out really good. It's not that scary of a basement, but it worked. And then when I started doing the roofs, something happened with my my stairs not this set of stairs you see here that would lead like to a third floor that just got rid of I got rid of that but my stairs from the first to the second floor they disappeared and I'm not sure why they disappeared because I didn't do anything I think that would cause them to disappear um unless I moved a, a wall or something but I don't remember moving a wall because I was able to put them back where I wanted them and I had to go like down in the basement and make like a sub basement to the basement so I had enough room for the stairs to like lay them out because <coughs> they were in a weird little shape and I, I did that and it worked and I got my stairs back. Yay! But I like the, I do like that. It's like a little island. And it, the house has like a farmhouse type feel to it but it has absolutely no like, no yard. It's got like enough room for a flower bed and that's about it. 
but that's okay because they have already scenic, beautiful surroundings from the world. I don't need to add any extras. And like right here, it shows that there's a third floor. The third floor goes. I don't keep it. I was going to try to make an attic, and I'm still trying to figure out why when I make an attic, it doesn't look like an attic. It looks like a third floor. Um, I know it has to do with the roofing technique. I'm still working on the roofing technique. I, I work on this stuff when I'm not recording. So I just hope it all turns out right. One of these days, I'm going to be like so great at roofs. It's just going to be amazing. I'm just going to you know start doing roof tutorials. Just kidding. No. No, I won't ever do that. That's a really pretty little, like, location. It'd be really, really cool if you could, like, interact with the water. Like, go swimming in that. That'd be really cool. I, mi I do miss, I, there's a lot of things I miss that The Sims 4 doesn't have that The Sims 3 did. And the open world, I'm sorry. I love you and I miss you. I miss that. I miss just walking to my neighbor. Um, whether I wanted to see him or not. But I like the feel of trick or treat when you could just go to all of the neighborhood. Like you go all around, you know, Sunset Valley, all that stuff. You could just go all around that place and get all the candy you could. This one, I think you can only go to, like, two houses. So, it's, it's kind of boring. I mean, you could probably transfer from world to world and, you know, go to different neighborhoods, but I don't like that. It takes up a lot of time. I like just letting my kids, you know, my teens take my little kids and go. So, while well, the parents have their little adult party with costumes and drinking. That kind of stuff. Yeah, a normal Halloween. Now, this room right here that I'm working on, I originally wanted it to be like the living room and then have like a den type office over there where I'm working right now. But I thought about it and I didn't really like that idea. Because you can put a desk anywhere. And, um, I mean, I do anyway. It's like I have a desk in my bedroom. But what I ended up doing was making it like a sunroom. Because also you can see all that water and it looks so beautiful. So I made it a sunroom with flowers and plants and all that stuff, which you'll see once I actually, that's actually I think in the second video, um, when I do that. This vid this this house is a two part house because um, I did the build and I think like, you know, like wallpaper and stuff like that, that's all I did was the build part of this. And then I was like, oh, all right, well crap, it's almost an hour, you know, three hour long video better, you know, stop right here and hopefully shrink it down. And I got it down. I got it under 30 minutes. <laughs> and, but it is two part. One part is the build. The second part is the furnishing. And that one will be posted shortly after this one. And I hope you enjoy them both. Please like and subscribe. And please comment if you, you know, want to just say, hey, I don't care. Say, hey, I, I, hi. You know, whatever. I did actually do these roofs really good. As far as, for me, my own personal woohoo moment was with these roofs. As you can see, there's not really much yard to do anything. <laughs> there's there's no yard at all. There's like one square that you're allowed to place stuff on. Without a cheat cheat uh, code or whatever. But I like it. It turned out really nice. And right now you can kind of start seeing what the house on the outside looks like and get a feel for like what it looks like. It looks like a farmhouse to me. And I'm okay with I like farmhouses. My grandma, my, my family comes from farms. Sort of. Well, I don't, but other family. <laughs> I 
I also love how they have the uh, pathway that leads to this house. I love that. It's just so cute. It's like a little country walk up. And I don't know. I just, I loved it. I love it. And these doors, I love them for farmhouses. They're just beautiful. It does remind me of my grandmother's farmhouse. And she had like a, a big stained glass window where I'm putting these little ones at. And I don't, I can barely remember what it looked like, but I do remember it was a stained glass window and I liked it. I wanted it. And of course I can't just, you know, walk up and say, I'm taking your window, you know, so. See, there's my stairs, my stairs are gone. I'm like, wait, wait, where are my stairs? But yeah, I was kind of like, where did my stairs go? Why? Where? Why? And now I'm like putting them back. I'm like, oh crap, there's no room to stretch these suckers out. I was like, I'll make a basement. And then I was like, oh yeah, but that'll interfere with the upstairs. So I'll make a basement basement. And the basement basement, let me put them down there and work, work them around to put them up there right. And I forgot how they were. So, but I got it to work out and I got my stairs back. And I always forget that you can't change the color of the stairs. You have to like just redo the stairs. And I just left them brown. Everything else in the house is white. But also, um, the floor, like the floor panels, like on the wall, or I don't know what they're called. Baseboards? Yeah, baseboards. Sorry. <laughs> Brain fart. The baseboards are brown. Because I figured that would go with the stairs. But... Plus, I hate going into a, an older style house and seeing that they've painted the woodwork. Because that stuff is so beautiful without being painted. It just makes me angry. It's like, why do you need to have an all white house when you have such rich, like, cherry wood stairs? Why did you need to paint them white or gray? It's such a beautiful wood. The wood color is beautiful. It stands out. Why does everybody have to paint everything white? I mean, I like, my walls are white, but that's because I just don't want to paint them. I don't know, I got, oh, no, I painted a couple, I've painted a couple, but that's actually because my landlord said no, so, yeah, white it is, but not my woodwork, my woodwork is wood color, it has not been painted, it's stained, but you see the wood, now I didn't do that. My window sills, my closet doors, the doorways, the door frames, the baseboards, all that is just a beautiful, dark, I wouldn't say it's mahogany. I'm very sure it's not mahogany or walnut. Um, it's just a very deep wood color. And it, look, it looks great. For the 1950s style, it looks great. I live like in a 1950s style cape style house, I think. It's tiny, but mighty. And the outside of this house, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but when I saw this paint, I liked it, and I wanted it. And I think it, I think it turned out great for the house. When you when I pull back and you see like the full house on the outside, it looks really good. With what well, when it has windows, <laughs> and I don't believe I put a fireplace chimney or a chimney in because where the placement of the chimney is or the fireplace would be, I don't think I put it there. Like I originally was gonna have the fireplace like right there where I'm trying to put those windows, and then I didn't like it, and I moved it. I really wish when we sized up a window, it would do it right. Because <laughs> I'd love to have a four square, like four block window, but there are only three. And it's the kind I wanted for this, for this house. I didn't want like a massive floor to ceiling window. I need to put it on there. Oh well, I thought I forgot to. I 
And I always forget to type in my move objects cheat. I just start building. I'm so excited. I gotta start building. Now, I didn't use the hidden objects or the uh, live edit objects again in this build. Just simply because I didn't want to type it in. And what I could get, like, no one lives in the house, so I didn't really have to worry about the money. Depletion or whatever. And I was going to, like, I can't remember what I was going to do with this part of the entrance or whatever. And I wanted the, the house, like, this feel kind of like an old farmhouse, but not entirely old farmhouse. Like, it has some aspects of an old farmhouse, but it's kind of modern, too. At least I hope it seems modern to you guys. I know, it was just stuffed. I know, and I seriously hope I'm not getting another cold. I just got over a cold a week ago. This weather is nuts. It's January and it feels like March. Weird. All sorts of weirdness in the world. Really weird. But, I think right here is where I decided, oh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it a freaking sunroom. Plants and stuff. I have yet to make a greenhouse, like a, a detached from the house. I think I might do that in my next build. I, think I, might, I might do that tonight, actually. But I like those doors. I think they work really good. I like the big old style French doors. Those are pretty. Most likely, my challenges for most of these like builds will be doing like modern or ones that are more geared toward like the the area they're from, like houses that are in Florida or built a whole lot different than the ones that are built in Ohio, and houses that are built in uh, Arizona are also different than houses built in Ohio or more like chilled climates and stuff like that. I know it gets cold in Arizona, but I'm just saying. They're designed different. They are designed different. And, and ones in Colorado are always big and open. It's weird. And I look online for different type of uh, build styles and stuff to help me figure it out. <laughs> My chair is creaky. I need a new chair. It's creaky. Makes creaky noises. It's funny. And I love how it has like all that wild lavender back there. That's just cool. I don't have to add that in. <laughs> And I think it'll look really pretty with my Sims sitting in that sunroom or working in that sunroom on either a snowy day or a really stormy day. Because I like the storms and I like the snow, so when the clouds are unleashing their fury, it makes my day. Even if it's in a video game. It's like I'll play Skyrim and just be so happy I'm walking through a storm. <laughs> my husband will be like, why don't you go to the hotel or or what, not a hotel, an inn or whatever, and I'll just be like, nah, we're good. I shall climb this mountain during the blizzard. We are good. I'm stubborn that way. Now, the most difficult part I had with the upstairs is the bathroom. I really wasn't sure what, what direction I wanted to go with them. I didn't want them to be completely old, and I didn't want them to be completely modern. And I was looking through the tile selections, and I just really didn't find any I liked exactly, but I finally eventually settled on some. And 
it's funny because they're similar. And I wanted it to be like tile, but it just didn't look right. So I went with the funny colored one, <laughs> a funny colored wood for that one, and then just a plain light colored wood. I'm sure I could have knocked that little square spot out right there at the stairs, but I like it. I think I put a plant on it or something. And I wanted to just have like two little rooms and then the master bedroom. And there's this spooky basement. And the spooky basement has a little tiny secret room in it. I thought I'd go cool and covert or some something. And I didn't use that one. I did use a different one. But I thought it looked nice. I might be wrong. I might be right. I don't know. But I liked it. It turned out good. The basement, when I, uh, when you see the video, the next video, you, you'll see the basement because I, I go down there and furnish that too. So. And. It took me a minute with this because I, like, I did a whole bunch of stuff. And I was, what I liked about the Sims 3 is when you put down a floor tile and then you paint it over it, it didn't paint over where the floor tile was. I forgot that the Sims 4 didn't do that. So I just completely just, I think I tried it, spray painted, that's what I call it, spray painting the ground. And I didn't like it. It didn't come out at all any way I wanted it and I eventually just got rid of everything. I just hit like undo like seven times or something like that. But... <laughs> I, I think I was going to add in some flowers. I don't think I have yet. I'm just, you could just see that. It doesn't really need much. Like a bush or something. Like I was going to fill it all in with flowers. And then I was like, eh, it looks like crap. And I was like, well, maybe I'll just, I'll just repaint it green. And then the, the grass didn't match. Why does grass never match? So I just undid everything and got the original grass back. And just did that. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun building this house and I had even more fun decorating it and I am going to look forward to playing in it. So if you enjoyed this video, I um, implore you, please do like and subscribe. It's not that hard. Click it. <laughs> Click it. And thank you and have a wonderful day.